Okay, so we have here, similar to the BJT circuits, we have a systematic way of analyzing MOSFET circuits. So first is, we assume that the transistor is in saturation. So if it's in saturation, that means that we can use the equation in number three here, relating the drain current to the gate to source voltage. After assuming that the transistor is in saturation, we determine VGS from the circuit. So when we're determining, determining VGS, we note that the gate current is zero. If after determining VGS, we compute VGS to be less than the threshold voltage, then that implies that the transistor is in the cutoff mode. Therefore, we you should redo calculations um, setting all currents equal to zero. If VGS is greater than VTH, then we proceed to number three. We determine the drain current using the drain current equation for a transistor in saturation. After getting the drain current, we then take the KVL at the drain source loop so that we'd be able to solve for VDS. Once we have solved for VDS, we then check the validity of our initial assumption by checking if VDS is indeed greater than VGS minus VTH. That means that our initial assumption that the transistor is in saturation is correct. Otherwise, if the computed VDS is less than VGS minus VTH, then the transistor is in the linear mode of operation. That means we need to redo calculations by replacing the transistor with the RDS on we use RDS on um, equal to 1 over 2K times VGS minus VTH as, as is written here. And then we determine ID. After determining ID, we then redo um, the calculation for VDS. Okay, so the most basic um, MOSFET amplifier that we're going to look at is the common source amplifier here. In this common source amplifier, we note that it is considered as common source in topology because the input is at the gate and the output is at the drain. The source terminal is grounded here, so it's common to the input and the output. Um, I have also annotated here where VGS and VDS are in the circuit. And we start off, if we recall the steps, we start off with assuming that the transistor is in saturation and determining VGS from the circuit. If we look at the circuit here, VGS, the gate is connected to V in, so that's V in, and the source is connected to ground, so that's minus zero. So V in minus zero, of course, is equal to V in. So that means the input voltage V in sets the VGS of the MOSFET. If the calculated VGS, that means V in, is less than VTH, then V MOSFET is in cutoff mode. So that means ID would be equal to zero, and therefore V out would be equal to VDD since there will be no voltage drop across RL if the drain current is zero. If we're going to plot this, that would be the one shown here. So we have here on the y-axis, our output voltage V out. On the x-axis, our input voltage V in. So note that for V in less than VTH, the transistor is in cutoff, and therefore the output is VDD. Now, as the input now goes to VTH and then increases, um, above VTH. Since we initially have a V out that it's equal to VDD, note that in this circuit, VDS is also equal to V out. Since we're starting with a large VDS, that means the MOSFET will go from cutoff into the saturation region. So, in saturation, when V in increases, that means VGS increases. So, therefore, v, the drain current ID would also increase. If ID increases, the voltage drop across RL increases. So, therefore, your V out will decrease. Okay? So, in saturation, pag umakyat yung V in, bababa yung V out. So, if we're going to plot that, 
ito naman yung part na yun, right? So, nag-i-increase yung V-in, looking at the x-axis from left to right, your V-out will decrease. So, from y-axis from top to bottom. So, we note here that this is the point where you have amplification because the curve in saturation would actually have negative slope. So, inverting na amplifier yung common source. Now, as we decrease V-out, further, right? Nag-increase yung VE, nag-decrease yung V-out, at VDS will eventually be equal to VGS minus VTH. So, at this point, that's when the MOSFET transitions from saturation to linear. And as, if we can recall, this happens when VDS is less than VGS minus VTH. So, if we're going to plot that, note here, let's say if the corresponding VGS at that point or V in at that point is VX, then the um, intercept of that on the y-axis would be VX minus VTH. And then at that point, we, you will already be operating at the linear region. Okay, so these would be the voltage transfer characteristics of the CS amplifier. Now, if you want more exact um, characterization of this, of this curve, then we could now look at the pertinent KVL equations that will allow us to determine the exact equation, for example, corresponding to the part of the curve here um, where the MOSFET is in saturation. So first we start with KVL at the gate to source loop. Here we see that V in minus VGS would be equal to zero. So, galing V in, pabuntang ground, yun lang yung dalawang voltages na makita natin. So, this equation tells us that VGS is equal to V in, so that the drain current is effectively K times V in minus VTH. So, we're now substituting uh, VGS with V in. Once we have the drain current, then to get VDS, we use the KVL equation at the drain to source loop. So we start with VDD minus the voltage drop across RL minus the VDS of the transistor equal to zero. From the KVL equation, we know that V out is actually equal to VDS. Okay, so the KVL equation, we can fact up. Uh, Put VDS on one side of the equation and we'll be left with VDD minus IDRL. Okay? Note that yung ID natin, we all already have an equation for that as a function of V in. Okay, for from the equation, the second equation in this slide. So we replace ID with K times V in minus VTH squared. So that's our ID. So this equation now gives us an equation for V out as a function of V in when the MOSFET is in saturation. Okay. This is the plot of the V out versus V in characteristics of the common source amplifier. And that equation relating V out to V in is just this part of the curve here because Ang ginamit nating ID dito is the ID equation when MOSFET is in saturation. Okay? So this is the CS amplifier transfer characteristics or common source amplifier transfer characteristics. Again, um, when V in is less than the threshold voltage, in this case the threshold voltage is 1 volt the MOSFET is in the cutoff mode and then it goes into saturation and then finally it goes into the linear region. Now, if you look at this circuit, yung V-in natin, yung gate voltage, okay, um, externally generated yung voltage doon. Uh, so, pag inisip natin, pag in-implement natin to sa circuit, kailangan mo ng voltage source para sa VDD. At the same time, kailangan mo ng voltage source para sa V-in. Um, there is actually a better way of generating yung voltage gate. We could use yung voltage divider bias as is shown here. 
Now, it's called a voltage divider bias because the gate current is zero. Since the gate current is zero, effectively, the current that passes through R1 would be the same current passing through R2. So, virtually, in series, yung dalawang resistors na yon, yung R1 and R2, dahil pareho yung current na dumadaan sa kanya. So, we could now apply voltage division across R1 and R2 we're concerned with or we're interested with the voltage across R2 because that is the same as VGS. So the voltage across R2 or VGS would simply be equal to R2 divided by the sum of R1 and R2 multiplied by the supply voltage VDD. So once we have this, okay, if the VGS that we cut computed, kung may values na yung mga resistors and VDD, if the VGS that we computed is less than the threshold voltage, then that means that the NMOS is in cutoff mode. Kung cutoff mode, again, that means the drain current would be zero, so your VDS would be equal to VDD. However, if VGS is greater than the threshold voltage, then we proceed with Calculating the drain current using the equation for a MOSFET in saturation, which is yung K times VGS minus VTH squared. Once na kuha na natin yung equation ng drain, or yung value ng drain current, we can then solve for VDS using yung KVL equation sa drain source loop, which is yung VDD minus IDRL minus VDS equal to 0. So, kaya magiging ito yung VDS equal to VDD minus IDRL yung equation natin for VDS. Once na-compute na natin yung VDS, kapag yung VDS is greater than or equal to VGS minus VTH, then it confirms na tama yung assumption natin that the NMOS is in saturation so that yung na-compute nating drain current would be valid. If the computed VDS is less than VGS minus VTH, then that means the NMOS would be in the linear mode of operation. So we replace the NMOS with the corresponding resistor RDS on using the equation here na 1 over 2K VGS minus VTH. And from there, we'll be able to get the drain current, which would be VDD minus the series combination of RD and RDS on. Okay, now let's look at some example circuits. So the first example here, it's a voltage divider bias na common source amplifier pa rin, but note that here meron tayong resistor RS. So this is analogous to yung RE na resistor natin for common emitter amplifier in BJT circuits. Okay, so it also helps stabilize the operating point of the transistor. And of course, may effect yun no, sa mga equations natin. So, um, given for this circuit, yung values ng resistors, yung value ng VDD which is 5 volts, yung threshold voltage which is 1 volt, and yung K, yung constant dun sa equation natin ng MOSFET to be 0.5 milliamps per volt squared. And we're asked to determine the drain current, the gate to source voltage, and the VDS. Now, if we look at the biasing, voltage divider bias siya, so we could actually get the voltage across R2 right away, right? But note that in this circuit, yung voltage na yun, that's not the voltage VGS. Kasi yung voltage across R2 would actually be yung VGS natin plus the voltage drop across RS. So we first, um, using voltage division, this gives us VR2 is equal to 40 kilo ohm divided by the sum of 40 kilo ohm and 60 kilo ohm. So that gives us 2 fifths multiplied by 5. 5 is yung ating VDD. And so this gives us 2 volts. Now, yung 2 volts yun, Okay, as annotated here, yun yung voltage at the gate to ground. Yung voltage across R2. So, if we apply KVL at the gate source loop, what we'll get is 2 volts minus yung VGS minus yung voltage drop across RS. So, yung voltage drop across RS would be yung 1000 ohm multiplied by, ID, multiplied by ID since ID rin naman yung current na dumadaan sa RS. So, VGS, rearranging, VGS would be equal to 
2 minus 1,000 ID. In Saturday, we also have an equa another equation relating VGS to ID, and that is yung ID is equal to K times VGS minus VTH squared. Now, yung K natin is 0.5 milliamps per volt squared, so it's 0 0.0005 amperes per volt squared. And um, yung VGS natin, pinalitan natin nung equation natin for VGS dun sa taas, which is 2 minus 1000 ID minus VTH, which is 1 volt quantity squared. Okay, so ito, ito na ngayon yung equation natin, ID na lang yung ating unknown. So we could actually solve for ID. Okay, so starting off with that equation, we factor out yung... Um, or we expand yung naka square so we get 1 minus 2000 ID plus yung 1000 squared so that's 10 to the 6 ID squared and then we mute yung 0 0.0005 so this gives us ID is equal to 0 0.0005 minus ID plus 500 ID squared okay so dinistribute lang natin yung 0 0.005 and then we could rearrange this equation to get 500 ID squared minus 2 ID plus 0 0.0005 is equal to 0. So this equation now is a quadratic polynomial. So we could now apply the quadratic formula. Okay, yung negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So if we do that, ito yung makukuha natin. 2 plus minus square root of 3 over 1,000 for the drain current. So, this would actually give us two values for ID. One would be 3.73 milliamps and the other is 0.268 milliamps. So, how do we know which one is valid? Back to the equation that we derived previously for VGS as a function of ID. Note that VGS is equal to 2 minus 1000 ID. So if the ID is equal to 3.73 milliamps, the VGS that we get is negative 1.73 volts. If we use ID is equal to 0.268 milliamps, the VGS that we get is positive 1.73 volts. Now, since ang assumption natin ay saturation yung NMOS, ang ina-expect nating VGS dapat greater than the threshold voltage. Since the threshold voltage natin is 1 volt, then that means of these two values of VGS, hindi valid yung negative na value, ang tatanggapin natin or ang gagamitin natin value would be yung positive 1.73 volts. Now that we have that, for VGS equal to 1.73 volts, yung corresponding na drain current would be 0.268 milliamps, then we can determine VDS to verify that the transistor is indeed in saturation. To do that, we write the KVL equation at the drain to source loop. Here we get 5, which is the VDD, supply voltage, minus the voltage drop across RD, which is 2000 times ID, minus VDS, minus the voltage drop across RS, which is 1000 RS. So this equation, pwede na natin i-group yung my ID. So we get 5 minus 3000 ID and then isolate VDS on one side of the equation. And then substituting ID is equal to 0.268 milliamps, we get 4.196 volts. Since yung VDS na to, which is 4.196, is greater than yung VGS minus VTH, which is 1.73 minus 1, then the NMOS is indeed in saturation. Okay, so summarize, ito na yung mga sagot natin. No? So this circuit, the corresponding VGS would be 1.73 volts, the corresponding drain current would be 0.268 milliamps, and VDS would be 4.196 volts. Um, yung next slides, actually, ito yung slides talaga for example 1, um, showing yung solution. So, yung ginawa ko previously is pinresent ko ng mas mabagal kung paano siya sinol. But here, effectively, ito rin yung ginawa. No? So, first, nag-voltage division to get VG. And then, relate yung 
VGS sa VG, that would be 2 minus IDRS, and then use that in the drain current equation for saturation. And then from there, nag come up with the quadratic equation, and then sinolve yung dalawang ID. So para mayaman kung ano yung tamang ID, chinek kung ano yung corresponding na VGS uh, given the drain current. And from there, na-conclude na yung ID would be 0.268 milliamps. And then, ginamit yung ID na yon para ma-solve yung VDS. And then, pinakita na yung na-solve na VDS is indeed uh, putting the MOSFET in the region of operation na saturation nga. Okay? So, that ends the solution for example 1. Now, moving on to example 2. 2, for example, 2 naman, you note here, this is actually yung voltage divider bias na common source. But this time, hindi given yung value ng RD, but instead, we're asked to find the range of RD that the transistor is in saturation. So for this, we first start with what um, parameters we can compute given uh, yung mga values na meron tayo as of now. So from here, since R1 and R2 are already given, we could actually solve for VG using division. So that's what we do here. We compute VG using voltage division. Um, so that's just 20K over 20 plus 30 multiplied by 5, giving us 2 volts. Once we have VG, okay, if you look at the circuit, yung gate to source loop, yung VG natin is actually equal to VGS. Kasi yung source natin grounded. Kanina, sa, sa example 1, meron tayong RS doon. Okay? So, using yung 2 minus VGS equal to 0 na KVL equation, we could now get na solve for VGS, which is 2 volts. Once we have VGS, then we can solve for the drain current using the drain current equation for NMOS in saturation, which is K times VGS minus VTH squared. So, K natin, again, is 0 0.5 milliamps. So, in ampere, uh, milliamps per volt squared. So, in amperes per volt squared, that's 0 0.0005. Be very careful with your units, no? And then, VGS is 2, and then VTH is 1. So, 2 minus 1, quantity squared. That gives us a drain current of 0 0.0005 amperes or 0 0.5 milliamps. Now that we have the drain current, we can compute for VDS using the KVL equation at the drain to source loop. So that gives us 5 minus the voltage drop across RD, which is 0.5 milliamps times RD, minus VDS equal to 0. So in this equation, we find an expression for VDS. So we get 5 minus 0.0005 RD. And this is the expression that we want to make sure na greater than or equal to VGS minus VTH to ensure that the transistor is in saturation. So we substitute now yung VDS natin, which is 5 minus 0 0.0005 RD. Tapos yung VGS na 2, yung threshold voltage na 1. And then, ang makuha natin dito would be itong inequality sa baba. Right? So 2 minus 1 would give us 1 if we Move that to the left, that would be 5 minus 1, giving us 4. And then moving point zero, negative 0.0005 RD to the right would make it positive. So therefore, ito na yung natin. 4 must be greater than or equal to 0 0.0005 RD. Dividing everything by 0 0.0005, we begin tayo ng expression for RD that it should be less than or equal to 8 kilo ohms for NMOS to be in saturation. Okay? So now, that means na pag yung RD natin is 10 kilo ohm, nasa linear region ka na kasi greater than 8 kilo ohm na yon. So you can verify, no, na pag, okay, pag ginamit ko ba yung RD na 10 kilo ohm, ano yung compute kong VDS? Okay? Pwede nyo yan i-check as an exercise. The next slide shows the same process, no, ito yung naka-upload na slides. Again, ang ginawa ko lang is print ko slowly yung solution but it's essentially getting the voltage division between R1 and R2 to get yung VGS and then applying that VGS to get the drain current 
and then using the drain current to get the expression for VDS and then finally relating that to RD and the conditions for when um, transistor is in saturation. Okay, so the, those are the two examples for module 8. The next two circuits that we're going to look at are the two other topologies or ways of connecting, configuring an NMOS as an amplifier, very similar to the common base and common collector that we had for the BJT. Okay, so please bear with me as I briefly discuss um, yung basic na operation ng the long types na amplifier na to as they as we vary yung VIN. Again, um, yung dalawang amplifiers na to, even yung common source, mapapresent pa rin naman sa triple E131 in more detail. But at least for now, dapat kaya nating um, ma-analyze paano nagbabago yung region of operation habang binabago yung VIN for these amplifiers. Okay, so here is the basic circuit for the common gate amplifier. Okay, dito sa left. If you look at the left first, note that when we say common gate, the input is at the source terminal, the output is at the drain terminal, and the gate is common. So in this case, the gate is grounded. So this is not necessarily um, required. Pwede instead na ground, nakalagay siya sa isang certain voltage, DC voltage. Okay? Anyway, if you look at the circuit, um, yung VGS natin, since the gate is grounded, so VGS is VG minus VS. So, VG is 0, VS is VIN. That's why our expression is 0 minus VIN. Now, when VGS is less than the threshold voltage, NMOS is in cutoff mode. Um, substituting our expression for VGS, which is negative VIN, that means that uh, para sa cutoff, negative V in must be less than VTH. So if we, apply, if we multiply the whole inequality by negative 1, diba ma, uh, ma invert yung inequality. So now what we have is positive V in should be greater than negative VTH for N must to be in the cutoff region. Pag cutoff, yung drain current is 0. Pag drain current is 0, walang voltage drop across RL. So therefore, our V out would just be equal to VDD. If we are going to plot that for, let's say, a threshold voltage of 1 volt, yung V in greater than negative VTH would be this region here, no? Yung nasa right ng negative 1 volt, cut off yung region na yun. Kaya pag V in is greater than negative 1 volt, yung V out natin is just equal to positive 5 volts or VDD. Now, dahil magsa-start yung V out sa mataas na voltage, tapos yung V in mo is negative na voltage. So, initially, mayroon kang malaking VDS. So, ang transitioning natin would be from cut off, okay, as you move from, to the right of negative 1, cut off, to the left of negative 1, magta-transition siya to saturation because you're starting with a large VDS value. Okay, so when you enter saturation, that means na habang dinigrease natin yung V in, ginagawa siyang mas less than negative 1, your VGS, dahil na, yung gate natin is nakakonect sa 0 volts, your VGS mo actually increases, right? So if VGS increases, the drain current increases, that means nag increase yung voltage drop across RL, so your V out actually decreases. So, habang nagmo-move yung V in to the left, yung V out mo nagmo-move pababa. Which is this part of the curve here. Ito yung ating saturation region, yung green. Now, eventually, habang bumababa yung V out, there will come a point in time when yung VDS mo dito becomes equal to VGS minus VTH. And that's when it transitions to the linear region. So, to determine when that NMOS goes into linear region, we note that from the circuit, VDS is equal to V out minus V in, VGS is equal to negative V in. So, if we're going to use those expressions for the inequality, na VDS should be less than VGS minus VTH kapag linear region, then substitute VDS with V out minus V in, and VGS with negative V in, mag-cancel yung negative V in on both sides and we'll be left with V out should be less than negative VTH. So, pag yung V out pala naging less than the negative threshold voltage, then that's when you enter the linear region. So, in this case, if the threshold voltage is 1 volt, 
Note here, at the point when V out, yung y-axis is negative 1, below that, nasa linear region na tayo. Okay, so for the common gate amplifier, again, as can be seen here, the gain is actually observed at the saturation region but because that's where you have a significant slope and the slope is positive, implying that this amplifier is a non-inverting amplifier. The last uh, configuration or topology for the MOSFET as an amplifier is the common drain amplifier. Uh, for the common drain amplifier, the input is at the gate, the output is at the source, and the drain is common. So in this case, the drain is connected to a supply to the supply voltage VDD because in an NMOS, the drain has to be at a higher potential than the source para ma, di ba, yung direction ng flow ng electrons from source to drain. Now, if we look here in this circuit, when V in is less than the threshold voltage, your NMOS will be in the cutoff region, right? Kasi pag V in is less than the threshold voltage, hindi mo masasatisfy yung requirement na VGS natin para mag-form ng channel. So therefore, if it's in the cutoff region, the drain current would be zero. Now, V out here is the voltage across RL. So pag zero yung drain current, zero din yung V out natin. If we plot that, it is this part of the plot here, no? So, when V in is less than VTH, if VTH is 1 volt, so pag less than 1 volt, cut off tayo and the output is 0. Now, if the output is 0 sa cut off, that means yung initial VDS natin would be high, right? It's VDD minus 0. So, malaki yung initial na VDS. So, that means from cut off, magta-transition tayo to saturation. When V in becomes greater than or equal to VTH, N must goes into saturation. Sa saturation, habang ini-increase natin yung V in, VGS would actually be increasing. ID would be increasing, therefore. So, pag nag-increase yung ID, nag increase yung voltage drop across RL. And V out increases accordingly. So, V in increases, V out increases. In the plot, ito yon, no? Ito yung part na yon, yung green. Saturated or in saturation yung MOSFET in this region. Now, as the output voltage increases, note, yung VDS naman nito lumiliit. So, at some point, NMOS will go into linear mode. So, to determine when that happens, we note that in the circuit, VDS is VDD minus V out. VGS is V in minus V out. So, use the equation for, or the condition for when the NMOS is in the linear mode. That's VDS is less than VGS minus VTH. So, substituting VDD minus V out for VDS and V in minus V out for VGS, we can see na magka-cancel yung V out. So, what we'll be left with would be VDD should be less than V in minus VTH. And then, we could rearrange that inequality para V in lang yung nasa isang side. And what we get is V in is greater than VDD minus VTH. Meaning, Kapag ang input natin is VDD plus VTH or more, nasa linear region na tayo. So, pag nasa linear region, ito yung plot natin. Yung orange. Okay, dito. So, you see here that if VDD is 5, VTH is 1. So, at 6 volts or higher, we're already in the linear mode of operation. So, in this mode, hindi na masyadong nagbabago yung V out with respect to V in. Again, if we look here, in the plot, okay, non-inverting yung amplifier, yung common drain amplifier. But the slope here is actually less compared to common gate. So, the common drain, similar to the common collect collector, would actually have a gain of about 1. Okay? So, hindi talaga siya amplifier, but it's more of... Um, a type of amplifier that is used uh, uh, as an output stage to match a certain load. Okay, so uh, the discussion of this, kung bakit uh, useful pa rin siya kahit na uh, wala naman siya essentially gain, uh, the, the discussion on that would be um, given in more detail 
pagdating niya sa Triple E 131. So at least at this point, uh, what we expect from you in Triple E 123 is at least be able to analyze and more circuits. Okay, by first assuming na saturation siya, tapos based on your systematic um, analysis, you would be able to conclude later on na kung ano nga yung region of operation niya and provide the corresponding drain currents, gate to source voltage, and drain to source voltage accordingly. Okay, so that's actually the last slide for this module. Um, the next module, hopefully, we could um, discuss face-to-face um, would be on amplifier stages and loading although um, there is a discussion right now with the triple e one two three instructors if we're just going to skip okay this module since this will still be covered in triple e one three one so we might actually move to logic circuits next okay so i'll just update you on this when we meet next week okay so um yeah, so that's the end of this lecture. I will just send um, updates in the forum in uh, if we're going to have a meeting next week, what will be the corresponding activities. Okay, but I hope that you'd be able to um, send questions if you do have some questions. And again, stay safe. Bye.